Hi YouTube, this is Miss Creator 47 coming to you with another video. This video, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to take the white background out of the image before you do your print and cut in your uh, silhouette uh, on your silhouette cameo machine. So uh, let's get started. So I have three images here. Uh, uh, this one is from the Hotel Transylvania 2. The little boy and this is his mom and this one is just a random uh, image I I use for baby showers when I do centerpieces and stuff like that so I'm gonna work with her first because she has like one two three four pieces that you might want to cut out in the inside uh, this little package don't worry about that cuz the white gonna come out of it but I'm not using that I'm just trying to show you how to uh, be able to cut the inside of this without have to do it by hand so what I always do is I will make a, a copy of her so I can work off of that one and I'll show you in a minute so this is gonna be the original one that we're gonna uh, do a print and cut we're not gonna actually do a print and cut I'm like I said I'm just showing you the basic of how to get stuff out now if you know the difference this image came up as a ping P -E P N G I don't really know what that is. I'm going to do a little research on uh, what ping uh, mean as far as abbreviation for uh, clip art. And this one is a JPEG. That means it has the white background uh, around the, the image. The image is uh, rested on the, a white background. I think they call it flatten. That's when they flatten and attach itself to the white background and you have to do some uh, things to get her uh, away from the the background but we're gonna work on her next now what I did was if you look if you go up to your cutting tool here and you click on both of your images and you click right over here and say cut outer edge it's gonna cut a square out it's not gonna cut your image out because even though it's a ping it's still resting on a transparent uh, background you just can't see it until you want to cut it out and that's how you know that it is uh, a background on it. Anytime you pull up something that looks like it don't have a background click on your knife tool and it will show you and that's what you want to get rid of right here this is what you want to get rid of so let's get rid of that we're gonna go up to this little uh, blue tool right here and that is your open the trace window tool and another uh, set of items going to come down here but the one that's going to be lit up is the first one right here you want to click on that now you see your arrow once you move it to your left off that page over there it's going to turn into a plus sign now you're going to take that plus sign you're going to left click and hold the, uh, your mouse down and you're going to drag it all the way over to her alright now you see the, the outline of her is turning yellow that's what you want like I said this package right here don't worry about that we just dealing with the inside of the image now you want to go back over to your right and you're gonna see a box that has a white check in it and you're gonna uncheck that right and then you're gonna go down a little bit more and you're gonna see something that says threshold you're gonna go over a little bit and you see this little blue arrow and you're gonna drag it until the image is yellow all the way and that's about right okay now then you're gonna go back up and you're gonna see a butterfly that's attached itself from the little paper that's what I call it a butterfly it looks like a butterfly to me but you're gonna do a trace and detach you're gonna click on that now it looks like it haven't did anything but if you move your image away and you're gonna see all these little scraggly things but we like I said we're not using that we not we don't care about that right now so you're gonna take left click on your mouse and hold it down and you're gonna drag all that and you're gonna see all this come up the little dots and all the little lines that was around her and you're gonna delete that and you're gonna do it one more time make sure you get all everything away then you're gonna bring it back over with and you're gonna go back up to your knife tool and you're gonna see now you see that it cuts around her but it's not gonna cut inside here because she is attached to the, the the box and it has no opening for the uh, the outline to go through so we get ready to get rid of this inside because it still has the transparency inside okay we're gonna go back to and get that other the 
copy and we're going to work off of that one instead of this one I, sh I, I said it backwards but we'll work off of this one right here so now what we want to do is go back up to that butterfly on the right up there at the top that said open trace window go back up there click on that now you're going to click on the trace select trace area again and this time you just want to uh, left click and drag it just in that spot where it has to open it right there right there We're all up in here if you want it then you're going to go back to your right uncheck that high pass filter go down to your threshold keep going until you fill that area in all this you want to be filled in okay then you're going to go up and you're going to do not a trace and detach you're just going to do trace and that's what you want okay we're gonna move her out the way we're gonna delete her because we don't need her anymore now you see all this red stuff right now you need to get these these little bits of parts away from here so we're going to go up to object we're gonna click wait a minute we gotta click on that first then we're gonna go up to object then you're gonna go down to release compound now all these little objects that made up this image is detached from it so we're gonna move all the stuff that we don't need okay we, we need this long piece that goes right up there okay and we need this one and we need that one okay the rest of this stuff we don't oops let me move this over some we need that and we get rid of the rest of this stuff alright now this is how that works this goes fits right in there you see how that is if it's right in there all right you just want to make sure you get it right bring it down okay then this one of course if you could look at it fits right in there right and this little piece fits right there now now you're going to left click on your mouse and you're going to drag it until you cover everything you want to even see these little boxes that represent that little piece right there that I just put in that these little boxes represents this little piece I put in there and so on and so forth now you're gonna go back up to your object go all the way back down and you're gonna hit make compound path click on that now go back up to your cutting tool right here cut setting click on that and now you can cut the inside of the image okay now we get rid of that we finish with that okay now let's start on the next one we get all rid of all the strays now to get the white background from her let me just minimize it a little bit all right right now it's saying it's going to cut the whole out the whole box of her the white out instead of just cutting her out so let's get rid of her we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to the butterfly at the top click on that we're going to select trace area and then we're going to come over we're going to drag it all the way over her and with this you can bring the arrow in from the side but you don't want to get too close to her fingers or her head or her feet just enough to just get rid of some of that white and it gets closer to her instead of just you know trying to struggle trying to get all the white out okay and we can bring it over a little bit more on this side okay then we're gonna go up to the little box with the uh, white check in it and you go go down to the threshold okay drag it over until she's fully yellow but not too much where she looks kind of fuzzy like like that you don't want to go all the way like that so you just want to make sure the outline is you know those broken outline is in there so then we're gonna go up to trace and detach now it looks like nothing happened but yes click on her and drag her to the side now she's out of the white background but you still have this you don't want that and you don't want that we can go do the same thing we did with the mom to be you go and you do a uh, select trace trace over her oh wait 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 let's, let's do that over we want to make a copy first always make a copy to work off of because you don't want to mess up the original one plus you can't do it without having a copy so we're gonna we're going to um, go over her like we did before okay then we're gonna uncheck 
Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do this again. We're going to click on that. And we're just going to do the part that we want to just get rid of. So that we need bits and pieces. So we need that piece up under her neck and this in her arm. That's all we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it just a little bit to close it in just a little bit more. I'm going to do okay there you go right there I'm gonna drag it in I forgot to click that high pass filter don't don't forget click that high pass filter okay all right and then we're gonna do trace and that's all we want we can get rid of her and we get ready to group all that together go up to object and we're gonna go down to release compound path and all we want is Oh, we get rid of these little strays. We want these two. We want this one from un for under the arm and this one under the, uh, her hairline. So we take this one and put it right there. All right. We take this one and put it right up under her hair and on her shoulder. Kind of line it up. You can use your little arrow key to kind of get it in there. Then we're going to group them all together. Go up to object and we're gonna make compound path and now she has no white under her hair or in up under her arm now we can go up to cut file and now it will cut that little piece up under there and in her arms all right did that one let's get rid of her now let's go to the little boy and here he go right here little man now you see this little white piece in there right there we're going to make a copy wait we're going to make a copy first we're going to get rid of both well let's take him out the white first we go up to our select and trace area again click on that to get all this white background from him right okay you should be expert now all right then we go go to high pass filter threshold make them yellow all over we're gonna do trace and detach get him away from there all right let's get rid of him that now we go now we're gonna make a copy and paste right oh all right now what we're gonna do is we want that little piece right there so go up to select area we are just gonna do that little piece right there that's all we want that's all high pass filter watch what you're doing and you, you, you don't want to do too much where you take all of the stuff out and you're going to do trace and that's all you want now you're going to cover that up with the box with your uh, arrow to get those boxes around we're going to go up to object release compound and all you just wanted is this little piece right there get rid of everything else and now bring him back over all right, put that here, right in there. Okay, cover them all up. Oh, oh, I see a stray. All right, cover them all up. Go up to object again and make compound path. Now, see, white, gray, right, white, gray. And then you click on him on the arrow, and it will cut out that little piece right there. How cool is that? All right, I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, just leave me a message, and I will try to answer your questions. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, like, and if you would like to see more uh, videos of how-to and things that you can do with your silhouette, just, just uh, drop me a message, and I'll try to help. Thank you.